Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Semi 2022 release reiterated in briefly uploaded video. Tesla's first virtual power plant beta event in California was a rousing success. Tesla meets with Canadian Minister of Industry amid effort for Gigafactory in Canada. And, Tesla China to launch improved Model 3 variants with 10% longer range, report suggests. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Earlier this month, Elon Musk remarked on Twitter that the Tesla Semi's 500-mile range variant would begin shipping this year. This is not the first time that Musk announced the Semi's impending release, so his recent statement was met with some skepticism, even among EV enthusiasts. A recent post from Tesla's Instagram account, however, suggests that a Tesla Semi 2022 release may indeed be feasible. Tesla's official Instagram account briefly uploaded an Instagram story, featuring the all-electric Class 8 truck. And though the post was quickly removed by Tesla, the Instagram story's caption, Tesla Semi ships later this year, could not be any clearer. The post was comprised of several new shots of the Semi in action, both on the highway and in a megacharger. The Tesla Semis that were featured in the briefly posted Instagram story were the company's new prototypes, which feature some subtle but notable differences compared to the original Semis that were unveiled in late 2017. These include extended windows, new door handles, and side mirrors that look production-ready. Tesla's reasons behind its decision to pull its Instagram story about the Semi's 2022 release remain unknown, though it's evident that the videos were intended to promote the upcoming Class 8 truck. The quality of the Tesla Semi footage was high, and each shot of the truck was new. Perhaps the reason behind the Instagram story's removal was simply the timing of the post itself. The Tesla Semi has the potential to be one of the company's most disruptive vehicles, but it is also one of the most delayed. The Class 8 truck was unveiled back in late 2017, a time when Tesla was still figuring out a lot of its mass production techniques. Tesla is a far different company today, from its mass production capabilities to its use of next-generation battery cells. Considering how much Tesla has matured over the past few years, an ambitious vehicle like the Semi seems like a good fit for the company today. Prior to his recent post about a Tesla Semi 2022 release on Twitter, Elon Musk has adopted a pretty conservative stance on the Class 8 truck. The CEO did provide a number of exciting tidbits about the upcoming vehicle, however, such as its potential use of 800-volt architecture. Speculations are also high that the Tesla Semi will be using the company's next-generation 4680 cells, possibly similar to the Cybertruck. Moving to the next update, Tesla's first virtual power plant beta event in California was a rousing success. It appears that Tesla's first virtual power plant beta event in California was a resounding success. As per reports from homeowners who participated in the program, thousands of houses equipped with Tesla power walls were able to help keep the grid stable. Tesla has been laying the foundations of a virtual power plant in California for some time now. Last year, the company started a pilot program that gave homeowners with Powerwall batteries the option to join the VPP. Tesla eventually improved the program by offering homeowners monetary compensation for allowing their Powerwall batteries to be used to help the grid if needed. Tesla's current program, which recently expanded to Southern California Edison SCE homeowners, offered a $2 per kilowatt hour compensation for those who choose to participate in the VPP. Tesla noted that homeowners would likely receive about $10 to about $60 for every event. One such instance happened recently, with Tesla notifying the participants of the California VPP if they would like to participate in the virtual power plant beta event. Reports from Tesla Powerwall owners across California were extremely positive. Screenshots from PG&E Tesla Powerwall owners showed that about 2,342 homeowners took part in the virtual power plant beta event, pushing about 16.5 megawatt of power back to the grid. Meanwhile, Powerwall owners in the SCE grid hinted that about 268 homes participated in the test, 
pushing 1.5 megawatt of power to the grid. Between the Powerwall owners on the PGNE and the SCE networks, it seems that a total of about 2,600 homes participated in the test, pushing about 18 megawatt of power to the grid. That's a pretty encouraging result, especially considering that Tesla is looking to expand its VPP program to accommodate far more homes in the near future. The concept of a virtual power plant is quite simple, though creating a viable distributed power plant is easier said than done. Considering how successful Tesla's virtual power plant test was, however, it would not be surprising if the company's VPP project gets more participants in its next events. After all, Elon Musk has stated multiple times in the past that he believes Tesla energy would be bigger than the company's automotive business. A rapidly expanding VPP could be just a breakthrough that Tesla energy needs to go mainstream. Moving to the next update, Tesla meets with Canadian Minister of Industry amid effort for Gigafactory in Canada. Tesla has met with François-Philippe Champagne, Canada's federal minister in charge of innovation, science, and industry, as the automaker is considering a Gigafactory in Canada. We have been reporting on evidence that Tesla has been looking at a potential factory in Canada. In June, Electrek obtained a recording of a company-wide meeting held by Musk, during which he confirmed that Tesla is looking at sites in North America, and the CEO hinted at Canada. Musk did it again at Tesla's annual shareholders meeting earlier this month, and the effort was confirmed through a lobbying disclosure by the automaker, with the Ontario government in Canada. Now we learn that François-Philippe Champagne has met with Tesla Canada at their Markham facility. In Markham, Tesla operates its Tesla Toronto Automation Group, which had built out of its acquisition of the manufacturing equipment maker Hybar Systems. The group makes machinery that goes on production lines at Tesla's factories around the world. We think if Tesla ends up building a Gigafactory in Canada, it would likely be between the Greater Toronto region and somewhere in Maurice or Centre du Quebec. Moving to the last update, Tesla China to launch improved Model 3 variants with 10% longer range, report suggests. Tesla's electric vehicles are already among the best in the industry, but the company is known for never resting on its laurels. This definitely seems to be the case in China, as recent reports suggest that Tesla is looking to launch new Model 3 variants with CATLSM 3P batteries. The new batteries are expected to provide the vehicles with at least 10% more range. For now, Tesla Model 3 sedans that are produced in Gigafactory Shanghai are equipped with CATL's lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries. On Tesla China's order page for the Model 3, the all-electric sedan's two variants are listed with CLTC ranges of 556 km or 345 miles and 675 km or 419 miles respectively. As noted in a Cenatech report, individuals familiar with the matter have noted that the use of CATL's new M3P batteries should pave the way for the China-made Model 3 to achieve ranges that exceed 600 km and 700 km. This should make the Model 3 even more attractive to mainstream domestic electric vehicle buyers, as well as Tesla customers from countries currently receiving exports from Gigafactory Shanghai. Interestingly enough, Tesla's reported use of M3P batteries for the China-made Model 3 would leave some room for price reductions. This is because CATL's M3P batteries are expected to be more cost-effective than the company's previous cells. It should also be noted that earlier this month, reports from Chinese news outlet Late Post suggested that CATL will also be supplying M3P batteries for the China-made Tesla Model Y SUV. Tesla China, for its part, has noted that the recent reports are a rumor for now. As noted in a CNEV Post report, CATL's M3P batteries feature an energy density improvement of about 15% over LFP batteries, up to 210 watt hour per kilogram. Despite this, they are estimated to cost just as much as LFP battery cells and less than ternary lithium batteries. CATL chief scientist Wu Kai, during a presentation at the 2022 World EV and ES Battery Conference last month, mentioned that M3P batteries are designed to target the 700 kilometers and above market. 
Wu also mentioned that CATL SIM 3P batteries are already in mass production. With this in mind, it does seem quite feasible for Tesla to utilize the new cells, considering the company's close relationship with CATL in its Gigafactory Shanghai operations. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.